Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Sonic Rush. In the last episode, we made it past Leaf Storm and the Water Palace, and now we're on to our next boss. You won't escape this time, Eggman! Ha 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 ha! Oh god, he looks weirder than normal! Okay. Hey, what's so funny? The fact that he looks weird now. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have laughed, but you. You're so cruel! You're so cruel! You taunt me by not using my full title! Ha 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 ha! What? Are you out of your mind, Eggman? Probably. He's, he's very out there. Ha ha ha! There you go again! But in the end, you will be destroyed by... Dr. Eggman Nega! Nega? I'm gonna say Nega because saying it any other way... Would... No. Nega it is. Alright, the Water Palace boss. This boss is fairly annoying. But not bad. Also, we have Tails in the background just saying, Go get him, Sonic! Oh, damn it. Come on. Alright, so. To kick things off, it's a giant... It kind of looks like Lapras. It, we, have, we have spiky Lapras here. Um, after a few of those attempts there, he will try and bite you. And then you got to hit him on the head. There we go. Easy enough at the moment. But, uh, it will last. It's this move I don't like. Ah, oh, ran right into it. It's this move I don't like. It's the whole, I'm going to squash you. Don't squash me. You squashed me. Get out of the way, I need to get my rings. All right, I lost two rings. At this rate, I'm going to die. So, I need to get a bit better here. Go on. Bite me, bitch. Bite me. You failed. All right. Oh, and go. All right, we're we're good, I think. We're not good. We're not good. Please get me some rings. I have four, five, five rings. I'll take it. Run, run, Sonic! Please run. Fingers hurting from just spin dashing too much. I'll continue to do it. You didn't bite me. Now I will hit you on head. With me! I will hit you on the head with me! That is how I will do it! That's how I've done it for... Well, at this point, like... What, over ten years? It will continue! It doesn't matter what type of Eggman you are. Eggman, Eggman, Nega, Eggman, Ultra, Eggman, blah de blah Alright, here's another move it can do. It can retract its head. Or it can lengthen its head. And then it'll try and nom you. Damn it, I hit the blade. I have... Okay. And then it will go back, and that's your time to hit him. I missed, obviously, which is great, because I have one ring. Pretty much, I can take one hit and be all right. I believe if I can... Can I do that? No, no, I can't. Oh, dang it. Where's that ring? Where's the ring? Where the... I lost the ring. I'm dead, aren't I? I'm, I'm dead. First death. Please not first death of a boss. All right. Three hits. I need a miracle to get through this now. What are you going to do? I you going to go through again? Okay. If you're going to keep doing that, this is your easiest attack to dodge. So, I'll take it. Also, I can hit you in the head. Boom. Yeah, I'm almost there, Tails. I'm not feeling confident right now. Oh, run away, Sonic. Alright, i got to do it again. Brilliant. Okay. Come on, Eggman Nager. You got nothing. Yeah. All right, one hit. We're both on one hit. Who's going to mess up? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. Don't bite me. Yes! Get this? No, you were trying to eat me. And I hit you on the head and you die. You'll regret this? I won't regret this. And he finally calls him by his actual name. Eggman Nega. So, uh, with Eggman, Eggman Nega out of the way... We are the Triumphant Victors! And we still haven't died on a boss yet. I'm fairly sure that'll change, because some bosses get tough later on. Should we try this again? Like, really tough. Alright, so... What? what? Did he say his name was Eggman Nega? I know, what a silly name. Silly bloody name. He looks just like Eggman. Yeah, but darker. 
Maybe Eggman just got some new disguise. It's not that good if he looks exactly the same. Even so, Eggman wouldn't change without a reason. Eggman's speech about ultimate power. It's really bugging me. How is it bugging you? It's what every villain wants, isn't it? Sonic, let's go to my workshop. Yeah! There's something I want to check out. Let's see if the tornado's looking right. Is it the tornado? I don't know. Anyway, let's go, Tails. Let's go, indeed. All right, Tails' workshop. For nothing but plot. There's no level in Tails' workshop. So, have you discovered anything interesting, Tails? I, I don't believe it. Sonic, I don't believe it. Something's wrong with the space-time continuum. Really? A space-time continuum plot line? You kidding me? What? There's a tear in the space-time continuum. Oh, for God's sake, it's this cliched story. And it's expanding. It is in expanding. If it continues to expand, it'll rip a hole in the... Yeah, the fabric of reality. That. That will die. Is this Eggman's work? I don't know if it's his work. Might be. I don't know. All he wanted to do at one point was control Mobius. You forced him to this, Sonic. It might have something to do with that man, Nega. I'm also con concerned about that mysterious girl you saw, too. Anyway, we can't leave things as they are now, Sonic. Let's go kick some more ass. Yeah, let's go kick some more ass. Tell's got the right idea. He's gonna stand there and do bugger all, and I'm going to kick some ass. Yes. Next level! Oh, brilliant! I love this level. Mirage Road. It's kind of tough, but um, it's got definitely got one of the funniest soundtracks in the game. It's the Max Bygraves level! If you don't understand what I mean by that, then you will. Trust me, you will. The, the music just sounds like, I, I think it's like in Japanese or something like that, but it sounds like he says something about Max Bygraves and tacos. Oh, he, he stepped in my face. I'm dead, aren't I? God damn it, that's what I get for singing to the song. Alright, no more singing to the song. But trust me, check it out. Mirage Road, Sonic Rush, and then just hear it. And it sounds like Taco Taco hit on Max Bygraves. And then he steps on someone's face. That's not very nice, really. Does that, does that make me... Does that make me horrible due to the fact that Max Bygraves died a few years ago? It is Max Bygraves! It is! Anyway, uh, in this bit, you've got a few enemies you have to defeat before you can progress, including this big bastard that takes three hits. It's like half a boss! Nearly half a boss, at least. Um, I'm dead again, aren't I? No, I'm not. Oh, God. Come on, go through, Sonic! Yeah, there we go! Oh, more enemies. But yeah, I think it's like supposed to be like Japanese or something along those lines. Um... I don't even know what it's actually saying, but that's that's my that was my first guess of it when I first got this game in 2006. I didn't even know who Max Bygraves was back then. You gotta admit, I was 13. Uh, but anyway, I know that made you know me. Oh god, saying oh it it's in Japanese. I'm just gonna state it as Max Bygraves and stepping on someone's face. Does that make me vaguely racist? If it does, I have a retort. Do you know the full words to the Macarena, or you just make it up? Thank you, vindicated. Okay, moving onwards. And if there's anyone there who actually does know it, can you please tell me what it is? Because I have no bloody idea. Moving onwards, though. We'll carry on. More tricks. We're, uh... We're getting some We've got eight lives right now. We're not looking too bad. We're, uh... Looking fairly solid for the rest of the... For the rest of the, um... At least this level, and probably the next few levels, but I as I said already, one of the levels gets tough. Just gonna rush through these. Alright, time for this big bastard again with the axe. It's Mecha Hector. It's not Mecha Hector. It, you get. I was about to get out of life then, you utter ass. Come on, Mecha Hector. I don't know why I call him Hector, it's just because he's got an axe. Mecha Hector. He doesn't look nothing like Hector. Kind of looks like an evil robot that Wallace and Gromit would ever make if they ever went rogue. Watch it. Ugh. I know where to move from the giant axe of Mecha Hector. Oh, damn Mecha Hector. I've really got to go to like Fire Emblem 6 at some point. Maybe I'll play that next. Please don't die. God damn it! It's another death. Stop rolling when you can get to these things. That would help Sonic, you giant tit. 
Alright, that's nice, I guess. Alright. Oh, okay, it's this bit. Okay, so, with this bit, there are boulders that come around and hit you. There's also enemies that drop down from the floor. The best thing is, if you look at the top of the screen, you can see where the boulders are. If there's a shadow and... No, not that shadow. Shadow's not in this game. Uh, if there's a shadow and if you look up, there's nothing there, it's an enemy. If you see a boulder, then obviously, it's a boulder. Got to avoid the boulders and hit the enemies. Easy enough, really. Ugh. He says that and then dies. Alright, full power. Nice, full power on my rush meter. I'll take it. Alright, th this this bit can really make the uh, the rest of the level kind of slow. It's in both acts, by the way, so just think, if you think, oh, it's just in one act, it's in both. Hello, matey! Oh, that's a boulder. That's a lot of boulders. How the hell did I get away with that one? Alright, and then jump here quickly. I think you may die if you do that, so be careful. Alright, Mecha Hector, you're dead. Moving onwards now. Yeah, there we go, end of the level. 335. Brilliant. Not bad. Not bad at all. What am I going to get for... I'm probably going to get something like a... I'm going to get another B rank, aren't I? It's going to be like, B rank! Yes. Yeah, B rank. Bloody B ranks. B ranks all over the place. Blasted B ranks. Alright. Mirage Road, Act 2. Nearly halfway through the game already. I like that. Yeah. Alright, let's just... We can go one or two ways. I'm going to go up, because Sonic Logic, top path, always works. Also, we get a full rush meter, which is great. So, in this game, you can get rings. Um, sometimes you get, like, a five ring or a ten ring or something. And then you get random rings. You can get, like, a lot of rings from those, or minimal. And it changes every time you play it. So, be wary on that, pretty much. Um, you can also get, like, as we've seen already, invincibility. Uh, you can get one-ups. Uh, you can get uh, additions to your rush meter. I don't think you can get speed shoes in this game. I think speed shoes is something they left out. Never mind. Oh god, it's Mecha Hit. I nearly said Mecha Hitler. Mecha Hector. You failed. And it's just some mage dude up there. Alright, so, proof the enemies in this game, or in this level, you've got Mecha Hector, you've got your basic sort of egg bots, and then you've got mages that fire range magic at you. Um, the most annoying of them all? Definitely Mecha Hector. The mages are kind of annoying, but they're not too bad. They're, they're bearable. Yeah, die. Yeah. All right, moving onwards. We are. We're looking good right now. Up, oh, Mecha Hector. Screw you. I'm just gonna get my 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 coins and leg it. Because with any luck, I may still be able to get an extra life. Because I. That's a lot of coins. Right? Well, co coins. This isn't bloody Mario for God's sakes. A lot of rings! You just, you'd think that, wouldn't you? I've played... How many Mario games have I played? Like, two? And how many Sonic games have I played? Infinitely more than two! But no, I, I still say coins. Dang it. Why do you two have to be so similar to each other and hate each other's face? Come on, Nintendo! Sega! Sort it out! Alright, that's a five ring. That's right. And extra life. Brilliant. Up oh, and rage meter! Brilliant! And... I believe that was something like another five, wasn't it? Alright, killing more enemies! I can do- Oh, you little bugger. Damn you. I think you can kind of abuse that, because if you get hit- Ugh. Oh, not like that, obviously. But if you get hit and you've got, like, let's say, 100 rings, and you uh, get hit, so you go down to zero, but then you collect about 30-odd, you're closer to the next 100, and you do get an extra life if you hit 100 again. Which is fairly good. Oh, damn it, I should have taken the invincibility. I saw it just after I jumped. Alright, here we go again! Rolling level with boulders. Step to my face. That's my face. I don't care. You're not gonna kill me. Alright. Well, that worked. Now we're in the water. We can't actually walk into the water, which is good. If we did, that'd be interesting death. And then there are enemies. But now we can't use the spin dash. Which is rather annoying, but uh, not bad. Now it's in sort of like a 3D perspective. Where we could be on the top bit. There you go, we got moved to the bottom bit to get the enemies. And I guess, up oh, there's another one you! Gotcha! Before you even land, it's like, I only came down to say hello, Sonic, I'm a big fan! And then I, you know, sort of killed him. Not very nice, really. Sonic, you're, uh, you're a bit of a bastard. You're a bit of a git. You only came to say hello. Hello! 
See, they only came down to say hello and you just killed them. That's not very nice of you at all. I kind of miss my dancing moves. But damn, get on with it. Alright, enemy coming up. Oh, missed. I was going for the initial shot, which would have got him. Alright, it can be a bit finicky. Like, you think you've got an enemy, but you haven't. Oh, that was good. Double, double kill, that was. Ah, oh, I'm going to for another double kill. Screw you guys. Okay, I've got no rings. Whew, okay. We're good. We're good. Now, how the hell do I get off this bloody island? This bloody weird floating ship thing. How do I get off it? I wonder. Yes. Okay. Hey, ooh, hey. That's nice. I'll take it. We know when it's time for our next boss. Boss three. If I remember, this is the dung beetle thing, isn't it? I think it's the dung beetle. I'm fairly sure it's the it's the dung beetle. It's the dung beetle. Yeah, thought it would be the dung beetle. Dung beetle is not bad. You just need to get used to what it does. I can't remember for the life of me. You know. Anyway, so he's got this giant ball here, which goes normal and then it goes spiky. What you have to do is you have to hit the ball. Oh, come on, can hit the ball. No, missed it. Okay. What you gotta do is you gotta hit the ball. There you go. All right, that's good. That's a good start. Okay, so you gotta hit the ball and hit it in the back of Eggman Nega. I believe this is Eggman Nega. We're gonna get now. I think every single time after this is Eggman Nega. Oh, damn it. Also, you can hit the ball to. Oh, damn. I think you need a jump for that, I believe. Well, I've lost two thirds of my rings. I'm not losing the last third. So yeah, what you can do is you can uh, you can hit it. Oh god! Damn it! That was close. That was that was cheap. You cheap little bugger! This isn't even the toughest enemy in the uh, boss in the game, and I'm having problems with it. Oh, damn it! This is not going well here. Ah! Oh. Yeah, I think you do need to jump, don't you? I'm about to die, aren't I? Yep, roll. Run away, leg it, Sonic. There you go, yep, you have to jump it. You have to jump attack it. Uh, spin dashing will not work. We should actually test out that theory lob blade later, because I'm probably about to die. He has six hits left, and I have none. All right, roll through. It's going to turn spikes, please. Turn yep, there you go. I was about to say, please turn into, uh, please turn into basic ball as quick as you can because I don't have much room. Obviously, since the circular area, um, if you wait too long, you're gonna get hit between uh, him, between the ball and Eggman Nega. So, oh, that is a jump. That's one of the moves that Eggman Nega can do. He can jump the attack, and he usually does it when he um, has taken a few hits himself. Hey, anyway, moving onwards. Oh, he's gonna rob ball again. Kaboom! Damn it! Oh, it did it there! That sucks! Alright, here we go. Right. Knowledge now of what to do. Eggman Nager, you're going. You're, I'm gunning for you, you're dying. Alright, go back to normal, please. Thank you. Boom! Get hit in the back! Nice. Oh, it just rolls around. It's like, yeah! I'm gonna roll around a bit! I'm gonna roll around and I'm, uh. That's actually all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna roll around a bit when I get hit. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the way he rolls around like on an arc, so he doesn't even fall off this thing. That'd be great if you could just insta-kill the boss by it just falling off. Physics, Sega! Physics! You need a bit of physics sometimes. But we don't. Alright, it's gonna roll again. Oh god, oh god. Well, that was close. Alright, get out of the way, get a bit of movement. So, when the ball is normal and he's rolling it, you can hit it. Uh, it'll stun him a bit. It won't do any damage, but it will stun him. Uh, it's useful if you're too close to him. Uh, it can give you just a little bit of a... A little bit of a head start on the next go, which is not bad. Oh, we're gonna roll it again. Okay, hit it! Die! Boom, alright. Four down, four to go. I ran right into him, didn't I? Doesn't matter. Alright, here's his other attack. He will lob these at you. Luckily, I believe if you just keep running, he can't hit you. If you just keep running to one side, full power, he can't hit you. And then he goes back to normal again. That's the only two moves he can do. He does get a bit quicker, though. Also, he jumps. 
Oh god, oh god. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I took a bit of a risk there. Got him! You little git. Alright, what are you gonna do now? Three hits! So yeah, his three moves are the ball, rolling the ball, and jumping over the ball. And then he lobs balls at you, so technically four. But two are kind of the same thing. Oh, that's quick. Take that! Damn it! He jumps over it, yeah! Boom! And this is how you're actually supposed to fight the boss. By not being a giant idiot! Oh, he jumped over it. Screw you! Alright, one more hit and it's over for you. I still have 12 rings left. Alright, let's run! Go, Sonic! Leg it! Leg it! Keep going. You can't get anywhere near me, mate! There's no way, you haven't got a chance. Alright, last hit, here we go. You're gonna roll? You're gonna roll your little dung ball of death? Oh god, he's getting closer, he's getting quicker as well. Roll it, okay. Yep, hit it. Damn it! Alright, nope, 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 he survived it. Will he survive the next one, though? I am not too sure about I think I hit him a bit too quickly. Alright, here we go, bang! Go jump over it, I'm over here! Yes! Oh, that was beautiful! Because while that sort of cutscene's going on, you're off screen, you can still hit him. Or you can, you can still even move. So, uh, be wary of that one. Anyway, Eggman Nega runs away, and we win. Brilliant. Alright, what do we get here? We're going to get ourselves... We A-grade! A-grade's not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, I guess I'll have to take it, won't I? Alright. Shoot, fighting like this isn't really helpful. Not really, Sonic, to be honest. We need to find out the source of the problem. Sonic, we need more information. Sounds like a good idea. Let's go look around. Yeah, instead of going to the next level, please just go to the next level. Oh god, we're going here next, apparently. This must be Cream's house. Anyone home? Oh great, we're at Cream's house. Cream's mother's here as well. Oh, what a surprise. Hi, Tails. If you're looking for Cream, you just missed her. Hmm, I wonder where she went. She was out with a new friend. Oh, these bloody friends. I don't recall her name. But she had an interesting purple outfit. Interesting purple outfit, great. Tails is stumped. It's gotta be her! Oh, great. From earlier, okay. Ma'am, do you know which way they were headed? Hmm. I think they were headed towards the town. There's a town here! Don't even know. Thank you, ma'am. Let's go, Tails! Okay. Let's go! Let's go into town! My, Cream's friends are always so busy. Yeah, I mean, you know, we got nothing else to do. We, don't, we haven't had any food yet. Alright guys, well in the next episode of Let's Play Sonic Rush, we're going to Zone 4. See you then!